<laughs> και κάναμε μια ε, κουβέντα σχετικά με το νέο αυτό άλμπουμ. Ας δούμε τι μας. Wow, uh, how are you doing today? Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, hey, yes, I'm doing great. I'm uh, at home uh, drinking coffee. Just woke up like two hours ago. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate you for the new album of uh, Amaranth. It is uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been trying to uh, describe the sound of your music and uh, it's very hard to me to label it under one specific genre. Uh, I mean, it's mm -hmm. not symphonic, it's not power metal, it's not um, metalcore. Uh, you just did a fantastic uh, match and meet, a fantastic blend of all things metal, right? Absolutely, thanks. That's a very nice of, way of you to put it. Appreciate it. Oh, it's the same for us, I think. We we just put in everything that we like and uh, use different sounds. We don't really limit ourselves and uh, like everything we... And I think as well that that's work really... It's it's our contribution to the metal. Uh, to, to mix and match and just make it, you know, make something new out of it. Yeah, uh, this mix and match works perfectly, but um, I could say that the new album sounds much heavier than anything you've done uh, in the past, uh, right? Yeah, the, most people who have heard the album says the same thing. Yeah. What led you to that uh, direction, to that sound? That's a very interesting question. Uh, I think it's a development and also because we kind of uh, lower the tunings on the guitars that they make, they sound heavier, which we had on the first uh, two albums. And also because uh, we went on tour with Sabaton and we heard them play live every day. I think that maybe affected us, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, in a way uh, towards more mm -hmm. massive, even more like deep sound. But uh, yeah, and the songs, I, I guess it was also like uh, the current state of mind and the uh, position we are in as a band and that we have more confidence and we are like, you know, heavier as people. <laughs> the lyrics on this new album are very uh, inspiring. I mean, songs like Strong or Fearless or Do or Die are very uh, motivational and very uh, supportive to self-empowerment. Uh, uh, right? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Was this yes. a goal of yours? Absolutely, absolutely. That's uh, the job. We don't want to get lost in uh, like too shallow opinions about our music or why we exist as a band and what we want to achieve. But uh, the, the, the main thing has always been being Amaranth to empower people. Well, uh, you recorded the new album in uh, Denmark with uh, uh, Jacob Hansen on board. And as far as I know, there is a very interesting story, if you want to share, that you uh, managed to make it to the studio just one hour before the lockdown. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, that is 100% true. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, yeah, it was a very weird situation because we were having our last uh, songwriting session and we got a message from Morten, who lives in Denmark, and he's like, hey guys, you were supposed to leave uh, on Sunday, right? And this was a Friday. And we're like, yes. And he was like, but uh, they're closing the borders tomorrow at 12. And we're like, but, 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 but what? We freaked out. And uh, But we made it. Uh, yeah, like one hour before the border closed completely, we were in inside. And there was no people in like any of the trains or the... As I never seen Copenhagen so empty. So it was like a zombie land, which also, of course, inspired us to for a few things that you will find later, like <laughs> uh, when the album is out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was a very weird situation. So we only had to like uh, reschedule for two days instead of like it could have been like a week or so. So at some point we were thinking because all of I was scared that we weren't, you know, allowed to go back uh, across the border, go back, and we would be stuck there for I don't know a year or something. <laughs> and that would have been, that would have been terrible, of course. But I thought, well, we should somehow be able to go back home, or we just have to rent a boat and like, uh, you know, row ourselves over to Sweden. Well, uh, there are plenty of guest musicians in uh, this one, 
if I'm not uh, wrong, there are six people guesting in uh, this album, starting from uh, Angela from Arch Enemy, uh, ex Arch Enemy, uh, Jeff uh, uh, Loomis or Heidi from The Butcher Babies or Petru from uh, Apocalyptica. There are six people in there. And uh, I'm wondering, you yourself, you have done many special guests uh, in the past with Camelot, with the guest mm -hmm. G, with Timo Tolki, just to, to name a few. Uh, do you think that uh, uh, this uh, guest appearances help to uh, to show people that the brotherhood that exists in the metal community or something like that? Actually, yeah, I think so. It is this kind of brotherhood between the bands and and uh, it's very nice to be able to show that. And in the past we were like kind of separated from other bands for some reason. We were on a different label, we were like having different people that work with us, so we were kind of always felt like we were a little bit outside. But now we feel like we're a big part of the family and we really like took the opportunity to, you know, use that and uh, show to the fans and I mean for, for ourselves as well that it's so nice to feel like we are this connected and we like each other and we want to help each other with our creativities and talents. So it's a very, very awesome feeling. Well, it uh, seems that um, nowadays we will uh, experience a new wave of the virus um, all over Europe, uh, which means that uh, there will be a downtime for you musicians and for lots of uh, people as well. How do you plan to spend this time? I mean, your album will be out in a couple of weeks. Probably yep. will not tour until next summer. So how are you spending uh, this downtime uh, this time? Mm, um, well, um, good question. I, I think we are we are discussing, of course, with the management and uh, the record label, like what we could do uh, if we cannot tour, because we, of course, we want to stay busy and uh, not like, yeah, disappear completely. <laughs> it's, but um, so we have a few plans, uh, like with the band, to maybe make a cover album just for fun, you know, with like favorite songs that has inspired us, so we could. Yeah, that's something we would, wouldn't have time with otherwise, so this is something. And maybe some live stream, but maybe in a different format, because I think now the fans has gotten a lot of these. Behemoth did a very interesting yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> I, I was about to ask you about this. Uh, which are your thoughts about all those uh, digital shows and the Facebook uh, gigs, uh, etc.? I think these gigs can give the, the spirit of a real metal show. Nah, but that's the thing. We 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 don't really we don't really think that because I mean the audience is uh, as important as the band. We we believe so. Uh, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't wouldn't be the same thing. Uh, it's not the same thing seeing the band play. If that's the only thing we can do, then then there's nothing wrong with it. But then, um, but it, but like I said, it's more fun than probably to do something like Behemoth did, which was like a really, you know, something extra. <laughs> and uh, so, so, but that takes, of course, a lot of more planning, and maybe it will require some more a bigger budget and stuff like this. So there is, we, we're gonna try to do something uh, for the fans, but not not just like as a desperate move, you know, to just like, yeah, let's get the band and just like uh, live stream when we play on a stage as if there would be an audience there. We don't really, we don't feel like we would be so good at it either because we really need the energy from the audience, you know, when we play our kind of music. So let's see about that. Okay. Uh, we're not sure yet, but yeah, we have planned the tour with the Beyond the Black for April, but like you said, maybe it's not even possible for us to do it, which would, I mean, we, I, I just think that we're not trying. We're not freaking out. Everybody in the band has been uh, handling the crisis really good so far. Like people are kind of, they have, I mean, uh, half the band has a family and kids, so they are kind of busy anyways. <laughs> and uh, the rest of us, like Janils, has his uh, second band, Dynasty, so he will already start to write songs for that. And I was always planning to make some kind of solo. Like this is, we're just trying to stay creative, and I think this is what will keep us alive and keep us like mentally healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Alice, that was it. Thank you very oh. much for your time. Yep. Thank you. Thank it was you. really nice to speak to you. Yeah, it was a pleasure, really. I want to wish you all the best for the future, for all your future endeavors, and hopefully you will come to Greece to play with your band. 
Oh yes, and we tried to do that so many times. Mm -hmm. uh, we, like we had this festival planned and that didn't happen and then there was one other op opportunity. But yes, we have to go there. We really hope we can come there yeah. soon. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.